Okay, uh, so, so let's see. So change requires causality. Okay, and this can be demonstrated like through certain laws of physics. <clears throat> um, for example, there's a law of conservation of mass energy that's a little confusing. Um, mass energy has never been violated. There's like, the idea is like when one particle interacts with another particle, there's an exchange of mass energy. One particle is going to like gain mass energy, another is going to lose it. And that's really never been violated. That's the cross, you know. So the, uh, the idea is like, you know, if one particle gains mass energy, then the cause of that gain has to be the, the interaction with the other particle. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's clear as, as day. Um, the problem with that law is that um, when you separate it into like, you know, because mass energy is what Einstein kind of like, explain the universe as in, in his theories of, of relativity. I'm not sure if it was special or general, but it's the idea that like mass and energy are, are actually one. E equals mc squared. You know, that's what that's about. So, um, but that gets a little confusing because like apparently, and you know, I kind of ha have some doubts about this, but apparently there, there have been some seeming violations of conservation of mass and some seeming violations of con conservation of energy. That, um, that, that make this law a bit less clear. But there's another law in physics, another conservation law. The conservation laws basically came out of Newton's um, laws of motion, you know, I think back in the 1500s, whatever. And this, this is conservation of momentum. Now, the idea is like every particle, like when a particle is moving through space, it has momentum. Momentum is like velocity and direction. You know, so like, so that I, the idea is like, yeah, when, um, when a particle is at one point, its momentum at one point is going to determine its momentum at the second point. You can never like lose momentum. And if, if, if a particle interacts with another one, momentum is always conserved. It can never be dissipated. You know, it could, you can never lose momentum. So anyway, so that, <laughs> that um, the idea that we have this conservation of, of momentum, that conservation of momentum requires causality, is another proof at the most fundamental level of physics that causality, you know, is the process for change, is the basic process of, of how things happen.